Welcome back to the video course on fluid mechanics. In the last lecture in the topic of dynamics, fluid dynamics, we were discussing or dynamics of fluid, we were discussing about the, the momentum principle and its applications. So, we have seen that in, in the case of steady state system for a, uh, a linear with respect to the linear momentum principle we, from the Newton second law we have derived the basic equation as uh, say sigma f x is equal to rho q uh, beta 2 v x 2 minus beta 1 v x 1 where is uh, sigma f x is the, the total force upon the control volume external force on the control volume that is equal to the linear momentum change with respect to system. So, this we have seen where beta is the momentum coefficient correct or momentum correction factor as we have seen. And uh, then uh, we were discussing about the applications of momentum equations. So, we have seen that uh, say the linear momentum principle we can utilize for uh, various problems like uh, wherever to find out the force due to flow of fluid around a pipe bench enlargement and current traction or uh, we can use the principle uh, for to find out the force on a nose or the outlet of a pipe or the impact of a jet uh, for and uh, force due to flow around uh, around a curved vein etcetera. These different kinds of problems we can um, uh, use this uh, linear momentum principle or linear momentum equations. So, that we were discussing the last lecture and uh, we have seen some of the applications say first case what we have discussed earlier was uh, the force due to flow around a pipe bench. So, we have seen uh, say we will be considering uh, as a basic steps the, the basic steps involved are we will be considering control volume and then we will be calculating the total force on the system and uh, including the pressure force body force and then we will be finding the resultant force and then we will be equating with respect to the momentum change that is uh, what we have seen and we have derived the equation for one of the example say force due to uh, flow around a pipe bench uh, in the last lecture. So, now as a second case we will see here the force on a uh, pipe nozzle. So, uh, say generally we use say a nozzle is used to say to create a jet uh, and then uh, say we want to find out with with respect to the nozzle what is the force uh, coming upon the on the pipe where the nozzle is connected. So, as we have seen earlier here also we will be considering a control volume say for example, here we are considering uh, this particular problem uh, say here you can see that uh, a pipe pipe is coming and the nose is connected and the control volume considered is uh, here. So, here the velocity of entry is u 1 and the velocity of exit is u 2 and the area of cross section entry, entry at, at the entrance is a 1 and the area of cross section at the entrance is a 2. So, now the control volume considered is shown in this slide and uh, the so with respect to the nozzle the fluid is uh, contracted at the nozzle and forces are induced upon the uh, on the pipe where the nozzle is connected so first we will consider the total force so the total force ft or F in the x direction we are considering now so ft is equal to ftx is equal to the, the the mass of fluid or rho into q where your rho is the mass density q is the discharge coming from the pipe into the velocity difference u2 minus u1 where u2 is the uh, exit velocity and u1 is the entrance velocity so the total force with respect to this uh, the, the nozzle i will say um, which is acting upon the 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 pipe is ft is equal to in the x direction ft is equal to ftx is equal to rho q into u2 minus u1 so uh, here if you use the continuity equation q is equal to a 1 u 1 is equal to a 2 u 2. So, from the continuity equation we can get the discharge q is equal to a 1 u 1 is equal to a 2 u 2. So, hence we can write the full total force in the x direction f t x is equal to rho q square into 1 minus a 2 divided minus 1 by a 1 as shown in this slide. So, like this we can find out the uh, total force and then uh, say as far as the pressure force is concerned. So, here we have we have already found the, the total force uh, with respect to the x direction. So, then uh, next st step is we will be finding out the pressure force. So, the pressure force f is equal to in the x direction f is equal to f p x that is the pressure at 1 minus pressure at fo force at section 2. So, this is section 1 so here is section 2. So, the pressure force uh, the effective pressure force is equal pressure at Per section 1 minus pressure at uh, pressure force at section 2 
So, by using the, the energy equation or the Bernoulli's equation, we can write uh, say with respect to the section 1 and section 2, we can write P 1 by rho g plus u 1 square by 2 g plus z 1 is equal to P 2 by rho g plus u 2 square by 2 g plus z 2 plus h f. Uh, so, here where h f is the, the losses due to the friction. So, here if we neglect the friction losses, so here uh, then h f is equal to 0. So, that we can uh, uh, write the pressure force from the Bernoulli equation. Uh, if we consider this particular case z that the datum had this same z 1 is equal to z 2. So, the pressure outside is uh, also here when after the 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 jet is say the here the the from the liquid is coming out of the jet so here it is the the uh, pressure is atmosphere as atmospheric so that p2 is equal to uh, zero so that from the continuity equation uh, we can write uh, say here uh, q is equal to a1 u1 is equal to a2 u2 so finally we can write p1 is equal to rho q square by 2 into 1 minus a2 square minus uh, uh, 1 minus a 1 square. So, this gives the pressure force. So, that means the pressure here p 1. So, at this section p 1 uh, we get as p 1 is equal to rho q square by 2 into 1 minus a 1 square minus uh, a 2 square. So, this um, uh, gives um, say the pressure force. So, now uh, this particular case is concerned there is no body force. So, th since the, the body force here we neglect. So, uh, finally, the resultant force we can write as say the total resultant force is equal to F r x plus F p x plus F b x. So, body force is 0 uh, and then p is the pressure force and F is the resultant force which we have already uh, found here. So, finally, we get the resultant force for the system F t x is equal to F r x plus F p x plus F b x and uh, so finally, F r x is already can be written as F t x minus F p x minus 0. Uh, so, this is uh, with respect to the F, F, F r x is obtained like this. Um, so, now finally, F r x is equal to rho q square into 1 by a 2 minus 1 by a 1. Uh, so, here for which is obtained from the, and the, the, the total force which we have already found F t x and then the pressure force is considered we have already calculated rho q square 2 into 1 minus a 2 square minus 1 by a 1 square into a 1. So, this is gives the resultant force for the system. So, resultant force is equal to rho q square 1 divided by a 2 minus 1 by a 1 minus rho q square by 2 into 1 minus 1 divided by a 2 square minus 1 by a 1 square. So, where a 2 is the uh, cross section uh, at this location where the nose location and a 1 is the cross section at this location at section uh, 1. So, this gives the, uh, the resultant force. So, this resultant force uh, is the, the force which is acted upon with respect to the effect of this nozzle, the force coming on this uh, the pipe is uh, the force or the pipe is given by this resultant force. So, um, that force should be say that to resist the, the, the with respect to no, no, the nozzle, uh, the, this is the force which uh, resists the, the when the nozzle is the, the liquid is passing through the uh, nozzle. So, this is the case for a uh, the second case which we here we discussed is the force on a um, pipe uh, nozzle as shown in this figure. So, this is the second case. So, now we will be discussing uh, another case which is the impact of a jet on a plane. So, as we have seen uh, there are a number of applications uh, as far as the, the say the linear momentum equation is concerned. So, third case is the impact of a jet on a plane. So, here uh, say you can see that say a jet is coming and then uh, impinging on a on a plate. So, uh, say let us assume this case three the, the third case say the jet is uh, acting at 90 degree. So, here you can see the jet is coming uh, at 90 degree uh, and then imaging on this uh, plate on the vertical plate. So, uh, we want to find out the, uh, the force on the plate or the and the reaction of the plate. So, this is what we want to find out with respect to this case which is the third case the impact of a jet on a plane. So, here 
uh, you can see that the pressure force is zero since you can see here everything is open to the atmosphere. So, um, the jet is coming uh, 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 through the atmosphere and then it is impinging uh, on a uh, it is heating on a on a flat plate vertically placed. Uh, so, here uh, say for example, if this is the the plate and then the jet is coming uh, like this on vertically with respect to the uh, with respect to the, the this plate. So, now uh, say the pressure force here all the, uh, the pressure force is 0 or atmospheric and then uh, here this is the control volume which we consider here. So, the control volume is with respect to this uh, plate and where the the jet is impinging on the on the plate. Uh, so, this is the control volume and the body force also in this particular case it is ignored. So, the if we assume that the velocity he, here of the jet is u 1 and then uh, this is uh, you have the velocity in this upward direction is u 2 and the velocity in the downward direction is also u 2. So, due to the, the symmetrical case here, uh, but, but you can see here uh, say uh, say with respect to here the body force is uh, uh, ignored and then the total force here you can uh, you get. So, the velocity of approach of the jet is u 1 and it is after hitting the, the flat plates the velocity is uh, u 2 uh, upward direction downward direction. So, now the total force f t x is equal to uh, the rho q uh, multiplied by u 2 x minus u 1 x. So, the we are finding the the force in the x direction uh, of this direction. So, this is equal to total force is equal to f t x equal to rho q into u 2 u 2 x minus u 1 x the velocity in x x direction uh, after the the jet is uh, heated on the on the impinger on the on the plate and the uh, u 1 x is the velocity of approach. So, here uh, so now uh, say th this is equal to uh, rho q uh, say here total force is equal to minus rho q into uh, u 1 uh, x. So, here you can see that x direction is concerned. So, x, x direction is considered here. So, this plate is placed vertically. So, you can see here uh, u 2 is uh, say the x direction uh, say u 2 x is uh, here it is 0 since x direction the only the y direction velocity is there. So, u 2 is in the y direction uh, both upward and downward uh, you can see that x direction velocity u 2 x is equal to 0 since the plate is placed up vertically. So, that uh, total force f t x is equal to rho q into u 2 x minus u 1 x. So, u 2 x is 0. So, this is equal to uh, f t x is equal to minus rho q u 1 x and then uh, since uh, due to the symmetry you can see that uh, here the force on the on the on the the uh, y direction uh, which is equal to f t y is equal to 0 so due to the symmetry. So, resultant force finally, we can write that is equal to minus rho q into uh, u 1 x. So, this gives the uh, resultant force. So, finally, for this particular case, this is a simple case where uh, jet is uh, heating uh, uh, say at 90 degree uh, on a flat plate. So, here we do not consider the friction on the uh, plates, we are assume that the plate is smooth. So, finally, what we get is the as far as the x direction the resultant force is concerned um, it is given as minus rho q u 1 x where your rho is the density of the fluid considered q is the discharge of the, of the jet discharge or the say the discharge coming and hitting the plate and u 1 x is the velocity of approach in the x direction. So, this resultant force is obtained uh, by is equal to minus rho q u 1 x. So, this gives. So, if a jet is hitting on a flat plate, uh, so uh, in the x direction that is the resultant force. So, here that is equal to minus rho q u 1 x. So, this is the third case. So, here we have analyzed the impact of a jet on a uh, uh, flat plate or a, on a plane and like this. So, this is the third case. So, now we will be discussing the uh, fourth case. So, fourth case is uh, say uh, here the application of the linear momentum equation is concerned. So, fourth case is the force on a curved vein. So, you can see that uh, many uh, problems say like um, say for example, 
uh, we have a number of applications like uh, say uh, many many cases uh, the jets will be coming and uh, and uh, and hitting on uh, curved curved veins uh, like this so jet will be coming jet action will be coming like this and then it will be uh, hitting on a curved vein uh, like this so there are many uh, practical uh, cases uh, where th this kinds of problems uh, occurs. So, uh, now for this particular case we want to find out the force. So, now the jet is coming in this direction and we want to so here this is the uh, vein here and this is the uh, jet. So, we want to find out how much is the force act upon uh, acted by this jet on this vein or the curved plate which we consider. So, uh, here for this particular case um, uh, say similar to the pipe pressures. Uh, so, here similar to the pipe. So, here the pressures are equal. So, uh, you can see that uh, here everything is atmospheric. So, we do not consider the, the pressure force. So, here pressure force is atmospheric. So, we can consider 0. So, we, we, which is very similar to the uh, pipe case which we have seen. Uh, so, pressures are equal and uh, it is atmospheric. So, and then the body force also in this particular case uh, we do not consider the body force. So, here F B x is equal to 0. So, now let us consider a control volume. So, here in this uh, slide you can see uh, a jet is coming and then it is deflected by a curved vein like this. So, this is the vein here and the jet is coming like this. So, here the velocity of the jet incoming jet is uh, say u 1 is the velocity here and then after deflected by the curved vein it is uh, u 2 and x direction is here and y direction is here and uh, the angle with respect to the, the where the velocity u 2 this angle is theta with respect to this slide here. So, now uh, say if we consider for, for this force on a curved vein f b y is equal to. So, that means the force. Uh, so, here you can see that body force f b x is equal to 0. So, in the x direction the body force is equal to 0 uh, since x direction is here. So, and then the total force now we can find out the total force uh, here with respect to this particular figure here is total force is obtained in the x direction is equal to rho q uh, into u 2 minus uh, u 1 cos theta. So, here u 2 um, is in this direction. Uh, so, here which is deflected and then if you consider this as the as the normal direction. So, now uh, the the total force with respect to the x direction will be rho q into u 2 minus u 1 cos theta. So, here this is u 2 and uh, here this is the angle theta. So, u, u 2 minus u 1 cos theta gives the total force. So, total force in the x direction is equal to minus rho q into u 1 minus u 2 cos theta. So, finally, this can be written as that is equal to minus rho q square into 1 minus cos theta divided by um, a which is the area of cross section. So, since u 2 area of cross section of the uh, jet which is coming here. So, uh, since u 2 is equal to u 1 is equal to q by a where if the q is the total discharge. So, this q by a. So, that we can write uh, say for this uh, u 2 and uh, u 1 we can substitute with respect to this q by a. Finally, the total force is obtained that is equal to minus rho q square in 1 minus cos theta by a. So, this gives the uh, force on a total force on the curved vein and then finally, total force in y direction uh, uh, say uh, will be equal to. So, f d f t y is equal to rho q into u 2 sin theta uh, minus uh, 0. So, here you, you can see that this is uh, u 2 u 2 sin theta and uh, here it is coming in this direction. So, effectively uh, we, uh, here uh, uh, same uh, this other direction it is not to be considered, but there is no uh, y direction, there is no velocity. So, that is f t y is equal to rho q into u 2 sin theta. So, this can be written as that is equal to rho q square uh, um, by a into sin theta. So, finally, uh, we get f t x the x direction finally, we can get f r x that means the resultant force plus the pressure force and we are not considered here body force. So, uh, is also in the x direction there is no body force. So, f t x uh, the resultant force f t f r x is equal to f t x 
and then uh, here this uh, with respect to the the uh, y direction f f r y is equal to f t y minus f b y and the resultant force we can find out resultant is equal to square root of f x square plus f y square. So, this gives the resultant force on the curved vein. So, we say now uh, we have seen various cases. So, so first one say uh, the various cases uh, for first one is a the impact on a jet on a plane and now the uh, the second case uh, say the third case is impact the first case is the uh, for force due to flow around a pipe bend, second one is force on a pipe nozzle and third one we have seen is impact of a jet on a plane and then fourth one is force on a curved vein as uh, here, here we have analyzed. And now the fifth case which uh, here we will be discussing here is uh, Jackson uh, turbine blade. So, uh, you can see that many many cases we will be analyzing say, for, for, uh, say, uh, say like uh, uh, Pelton wheel or um, say uh, turbine problems. You can see that uh, jet will be uh, coming uh, like this the flow the, the with the respect to jet action and then you can see that there will be a uh, wheel with various veins like this. Uh, and then you can see that due to the jet action it is it will start rotating. So, here it is we can use this the principle of the linear momentum equation which we have seen uh, here we can use the uh, same principle to analyze the impacts of jet on turbine blades. So, here uh, it is depicted in this uh, slide here. So, the jet of in a in turbine the jet of water is coming from uh, the, through the, the, the nozzle like this. So, this is the jet of water and then uh, here the, the Pelton wheel um, is uh, say mounted on an axle and then and due to the jet action you can see that a force is supplied and then due to that the, the turbine wheel is rotating. So, here uh, we, we will be having either this uh, jet can be coming directly um, say 90 degree per, per perpendicular to the vein or it can be also in plane. So, here uh, we will be analyzing uh, how we, we can find out the force acted upon the jet on the on the Pelton wheel. So, here if you consider this U 1. So, most of the time you can see that this can be either um, say this um, uh, plates which is attached with with respect to the axle uh, uh, for the pattern wheel uh, most of the time it will be curved one like this. So, you can see here the curved way, uh, say vein type mechanism. So, the jet will be coming say uh, perpendicular to this like this and then uh, the, the after that it is uh, hitting on the plate uh, say or the, or the vein and then it is deflected like this of velocity u 2 uh, on both direction u to this way and the other way. So, the the jet of velocity u 1 is in hitting on the vein and it is deflected uh, say with a velocity u 2 uh, both direction back like this. So, this is the mechanism which is generally used in a Pelton wheel. So, we want to find out the with respect to this jet action of what how much is the force coming on the on the on the Pelton wheel. So, that is what we want to find out. So, as you can see so here the jet is coming uh, per per perpendicular on the, on the horizontal direction and then it is deflecting also in the on the horizontal direction. So, but it can be also inclined like this in this slide you can see that um, here the jet is coming horizontal direction, but uh, due to this uh, the location or the nature of the veins you can see that it can be the also deflected at an angle uh, theta like this. So, here u 2 is deflected in this direction and other way it is with respect to an angle theta. So, for this kinds of problem now <coughs> let us consider uh, say a control volume. So, uh, as in the previous cases. So, first we will be considering a control volume. So, the control volume is uh, say here uh, shown here. So, control volume is um, uh, considered and then x axis here y axis here. So, now uh, again this case also uh, here this particular case also we do not consider the pressure force. The pressure force is, is uh, here it is atmospheric pressure or this uh, 0 uh, we consider it the pressure force is 0. And then also the body force is not to be considered here in this particular case due to the uh, specific nature of the problem we do not consider the body force. And then you can see that finally, the total force in the y direction uh, 
um, will be zero for this due to the symmetrical and due to, due to nature of the particular problem here the uh, total force in the y direction will be zero and uh, then the total force in the x direction. So, if you consider this, uh, this uh, say if the jet is um, deflected at an angle theta like this. So, in the x direction total force in the x direction uh, say uh, that, that is the resultant force f t x that is equal to. So, here with respect to this fi figure rho into q by 2. So, here say if the discharge is a due to symmetry let us assume that the discharge is q by 2 is passing q is coming and hitting on this and q by 2 is passing this direction and other direction also q by 2 is passing. So, f t x is equal to rho into q by 2 into u 2 x plus q by 2 into u 2 x minus q into uh, u 1 x. So, q is the discharge coming to the uh, uh, hitting on the uh, Pelton wheel or pe the, the turbine blade uh, and then the, uh, the velocity back is u 2 uh, at an angle theta. So, uh, let us assume that in this particular case uh, half of the discharge is going up this direction and other half is going down this direction. So, that uh, the x direction the resultant force in the x direction can be written as f t x is equal to rho into q by 2 as shown here uh, f t x is equal to rho into q by 2 into u 2 x plus q by 2 into u 2 x minus q into u 1 x. So, where u 1 x is the velocity in the x direction uh, u 2 x is the velocity in the with respect to x direction and uh, uh, rho is the density of the uh, liquid or here if water is the considered then density of water. So, now uh, the, the resultant force is obtained as f t x. So, here you can see that uh, the u 1 x. So, the velocity is say you are assuming for this particular problem the velocity is coming uh, with respect to the x direction like this in this direction. So, u, u, u 1 x is equal to minus u 1 and then u 2 x. So, here you can see that u 2 x is equal to uh, say uh, u 2 cos theta. So, u 2 x is equal to u 2 cos theta. So, finally, the total uh, the resultant force f t x is equal to rho, rho q into um, uh, say u 2 cos theta. Uh, plus u 1. So, for this particular case f t s the resultant force is equal to rho q into u 2 cos theta plus uh, u 1. So, like this we can analyze say the, the force. So, here you can you finally, we have found the total force we are acting upon the, this uh, um, uh, say on this Pelton wheel or on the, on the turbine blade. So, here we consider say like, like in a Pelton wheel we have considered the turbine blade. So, how much is the force acted upon the turbine blade is calculated from this expression f t, f t x is equal to rho q d u 2 cos theta plus u 1 where u rho is the density q is the discharge of the jet u 1 is the velocity of the jet and then u 2 is the velocity after deflecting from the from the turbine blade. So, like this we can find out the force acted upon the on the, on the jets on turbine the force of, of jets on turbine blades can be calculated. So, this is the fifth case we, we have analyzed for uh, the application of the linear momentum uh, equation which we have seen. And now the last case we will be discussing here is uh, force due to a, a jet hitting an inclined plane. So, uh, as we have seen the jet. So, if the plate uh, here if we have seen that the jet whenever the plate is vertical uh, placed then the, the jet is acting like this. So, the analysis is very simple we have already seen uh, we have analyzed here in the previous case say the for uh, the uh, the impact of a jet on a plane. So, the plane is it is per placed perpendicular. So, the analysis is much simpler, but here in the last case uh, here we discuss the force due to a jet hitting at an, uh, an angle or at an inclined plane. So, if we consider a plane like this. So, here uh, a plane is in like this and then a jet is coming and uh, hitting on the plane and like this uh, say the, the jet position is uh, horizontal jet is acting coming horizontally, but the plane is the pl plate or the plane is inclined. Uh, so, here you can see in this slide how the mechanism is. So, th this is also many many problems will be uh, of th this kind. Um, so, here the jet is coming with a velocity uh, u 1 and then 
it is hitting on a an inclined plane. Um, so, uh, this uh, with respect to the say if we consider the normal to the uh, plane which we consider. So, this is at an angle theta like this with respect to the horizontal. So, after so here the velocity of the jet is u 1 and then uh, uh, in the previous case we have seen uh, earlier that uh, uh, say if it is normally placed the velocity will be same to the both sides as u 2 and u 2. But here you can see that due to the inclination of the uh, of the plane, so the velocity to this direction u2 is uh, the velocity in this direction, and then in the other direction it is u3. So it is not symmetrical, or the, the, the plane is uh, inclined, or the uh, so the velocity in this direction is u2, and the downward direction it, it is uh, u3. So here we consider the angle theta. So now to analyze this problem, so we will be just uh, considering this problem like this. So here. So, the same plane uh, what we consider the jet is in the horizontal direction and the plane is or the uh, plate on which the jet is hitting is uh, inclined. But then the same case we can uh, in a very similar way we can consider the, pl the plane is vertical and jet is uh, inclined. So, here you can see uh, so the same problem uh, it is a very similar problem a very same problem. So, we are considering the plate is uh, or the plane is uh, vertical like this and then the jet is acting inclined. So, we have seen the cases here. Um, so, the actual case is the plane is uh, or the plate is inclined and jet is coming horizontal. So, what we are we are converting this problem into we place the plate as vertical and then we, uh, we consider the jet is acting inclined. So, that is the way which we are analyzing. Uh, this problem. So, the diagram here the diagram is rotated for analysis. So, now you can see. So, this is angle theta and u 1 is the jet velocity is u 1 and now x and x is in the horizontal and y is a vertical direction and u 3 is the velocity downward u 2 is the velocity uh, upward. So, now uh, here if we use the, the Bernoulli's equation. So, here uh, say with respect to this figure you can see that p 1 by rho g plus uh, uh, u 1 square. So, as we previous case we will be considering control volume. So, p 1 by rho g plus u 1 square by 2 g plus e z 1 is equal to p 2 by rho g plus u 2 square by 2 g plus e z 2. So, uh, is equal to p 3 by rho g plus u 3 square by 2 g plus e z 3. So, if we consider 3 position here, uh, here and here. So, 3 sections. So, p, uh, by use, from the Bernoulli's equation we can write p 1 by rho g plus u 1 square by 2 g plus e z 1 is equal to p 2 by rho g plus u 2 square by 2 g plus e z 2 is equal to p 3 by rho g plus u 3 square by 2 g plus e z 3. So, now uh, here if you assume that height difference is negligible. So, uh, with respect to the jet action the height difference is not so much. So, we can assume z 1 2 is equal to z 2 equal to z 3 for analysis purpose and then uh, the pressure the, the, the jet is you know, say acting in atmospheric pressure. So, uh, pressure, all pressures pressure is atmospheric. So, that we can assume that uh, say um, uh, here all the the, 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 the due to the atmosphere pressure here we can see that uh, u1 is equal to u2 is equal to u3. So, here the velocity say with respect to this particular problem u1 is equal to u2 is equal to uh, u3. So, uh, now with, with the Bernoulli's equation the possibility is that u1 is equal to u2 since uh, the pressure is atmo atmospheric. So, that is already uh, the, all these terms are say, say gone and then z 1 is equal to z 2 is equal to z 3. So, finally, we get the velocity. So, this is an approximation u 1 is equal to u 2 is equal to u 3. So, now uh, by from the continuity equation you can see that if you apply the continuity equation. So, the uh, discharge this should be what is hitting on the plate should be equal to what is going up and what is going down. So, uh, q 1 is equal to q 2 plus q 3. So, for, for that we can write u 1 plus a 1 is equal to u 2 plus a 2 plus u 3 plus a 3 or we can write a 1 is equal to a 2 plus a 3 or finally, we can write q 1 is equal to a 1 u or q 2 is equal to a 2 u and 
q 3 is equal to uh, what is going down that discharge will be q 3 is equal to a 1 minus a 2 into u. So, q 3 is equal to a 1 minus a 2 into u. So, the pressure force uh, since it is atmospheric that is considered 0 and finally, we got q 1 is equal to a 1 u, q 2 is equal to a 2 u and q 3 is equal to a 1 minus a 2 into u. And in this case also we neglect the body force, body force is uh, ignored. So, finally, the total force F T x in the x direction the total force is equal to rho into uh, q 2 into u 3 x plus q 3 into u 3 x minus q 1 into u 1 x. So, with respect to the, this uh, figure here finally, we get the, the total force in the x direction F T x is equal to rho into q 2 into u 3 x plus q 3 into u 3 x minus q 1 into u 1 x. So, here say here in the with respect to uh, this after the figure is rotated here you can see that uh, the x direction u 2 x and u 3 x are 0. So, u 2 x is 0, u 3 x is 0. So, we get um, u 2 x is equal to u 3 x is equal to 0, jets are parallel to the plate. So, finally, uh, this expression become uh, since u 1 x is equal to u 1 cos theta. So, this angle is theta. So, u 1 x is equal to u 1 uh, cos theta. So, finally, we simplify the equation to F T x the total force in the x direction is equal to uh, minus rho q 1 u 1 cos theta. So, this will be the uh, force acted upon by this inline jet on this plane or this particular case which we consider the plane is inclined and the jet is horizontal. So, finally, the expression is uh, the, velo the total force is F T x is equal to minus rho q 1 uh, u 1 cos theta. So, like this uh, uh, we can uh, analyze what will be the force due to a jet hitting at an inclined plane or say a jet the plane is vertical and a jet is inclined. So, that both cases we can analyze. So, finally, the resultant force exerted on fluid is equal to uh, so body force is neglected, pressure force is atmospheric. So, that we do not consider. So, in the x direction f r x is equal to minus rho q 1 u 1 cos theta. So, this is the resultant force exerted on the fluid uh, and then uh, the, uh, in bi direction f t y you can see that f t y is equal to 0 in this particular case. So, finally, the resultant force is r is equal to minus f r x um, uh, which is the the, rea the reaction or the which is the with respect with respect to the jet and what is the force acted by the by the plate the, the, the reaction force will be uh, uh, say r is equal to the opposite direction minus f r x. So, that is equal to rho q 1 u 1 cos theta. So, this gives the the say the, the the reaction force the opposite direction. So, that is minus f r x. So, like this we can analyze the resultant force uh, acting on a on acting uh, by a jet in, uh, heat, heated on an inclined plane. Uh, also from the uh, what we have seen so far we can also find out the discharge uh, uh, say in each direction q 1, q 2, q 3 uh, that we have seen here. So, that also can be calculated discharge goes on each direction uh, we can, can be also found in a very similar way. So, this is the sixth application uh, we have uh, discussed. So, uh, what we say now we have seen the from the Newton second law we have derived the linear uh, momentum equation and then uh, we have seen uh, various applications uh, in this uh, so far we have discussed various applications. So, now we, we, we say from the applications we can see that some of the interpretations what we can um, say with respect to the applications are. So, we say here here the linear momentum say we have to always consider the direction. So, whether it is x direction or y direction. So, that we can say that the li linear momentum is direction. So, that is obvious uh, the always we have to uh, say, say which direction it is acting. So, the linear momentum is direction. So, that is the first interpretation and then the most of the cases we, we have discussed is st at steady state condition. So, for steady state flow the time rate of change of momentum is um, 0. So, that is not considered. So, most of the examples we have considered is at steady state condition. And then uh, also 
we have seen we are say we are using the Newton second law. So, we are considering the external forces. So, we have to consider the the the, the sign that means whether the force is acting which direction whether uh, say uh, plus or minus the sign is important. So, we have to consider the external forces uh, we have to consider its sign. So, algebraic sign of the external force to be considered and uh, also here uh, as far as the control volume which we consider. So, the analysis is we are starting the analysis by considering control volume. So, for the control volume considered only external forces acting on the control volume to be considered for the problems which we have uh, seen um, here and then uh, uh, say also in a very similar way. So, the cases the examples which we, uh, we have analyzed is say most of the time the uh, plate or the vein or the cases uh, say this uh, they are fixed. So, it is not the veins or the plates are not moving, but uh, also the linear momentum equation we can write in a, a very similar way for moving control volume. So, here you can see that the plate which we considered with respect to the jet is. So, uh, now the jet is coming and the plate is fixed. So, we have found the force. So, but if the plate is moving like this. So, when the jet is acting the sim simultaneously the, jet, the, the, the plate is also moving. So, that is the case where the moving control volume. So, here uh, the cases which we have considered so far is uh, fixed control volume, but some cases like uh, we have seen the when the wheel is rotating. So, it is uh, moving control volume or the when the plate is uh, um, moving uh, with respect to the jet action. So, then we can see that the case is of uh, moving control volume. So, we have to consider so now jet is coming. So, in a very similar with respect to the jet movement the control volume is also moving. So, uh, the linear moment equation can be uh, transformed with respect to the moving control uh, uh, volume. So, for the moving control volume say like moving plates and veins. So, when a jet with velocity uh, v strikes a plate moving with velocity small v, so fluid mass is no longer the fluid mass strike on a stationary plate. So, as I mentioned, so if the velocity here a, a plate is there and the velocity of the jet is say here uh, v capital V is the velocity and then uh, the plate is now moving with the velocity of small v. Uh, so, uh, now uh, uh, as uh, earlier case the for the fixed plate it is not the same it is not the same mass that, that is hitting the plate for as in the case of a stationary plate since the plate is also moving. So, here uh, this this is the plate the initial initial position and now uh, jet is uh, coming and uh, hitting like this. So, now but after some time you can see that the plate is moving. So, the, the mass is changing the fluid mass is no longer the same the fluid mass uh, strikes on the station uh, with respect to stationary plate, but now the plate is uh, uh, is uh, shifted with the, so the plate is moving with the velocity same uh, small v meter per second and the jet is of capital V meter per second. Then we, we, we will be finding out the uh, say the mass which really overtakes the plate per unit time. So, we have to see that the relative velocity velocity we have to consider and what mass will be uh, overtaking the plate per unit time to be considered when the plate or the vein is moving. So, we have to consider the relative velocity. So, here we can see that uh, capital V minus small v uh, will be the relative velocity. So, that will be used in the calculation. So, in the next slide, so here we can see that uh, say for the mass strike in the plate is area of cross section of the of the jet. So, if jet has got an area of cross section small capital A and then density is rho then relative ve velocity we have to multiply, multiply absolute velocity v capital V minus small v. So, uh, we have to find out the relative velocity. So, mass strike in the plate is um, uh, so q is, is equal to area of cross section into rho into uh, v minus small v. So, the, the the velocity of the jet minus the uh, the velocity of the of the plate or the vein we consider. So, the calculation the relative velocity should be used. So, with reference to this we will be discussing um, few of the examples. So, here the first case is 
we consider a problem like this. So, here there is a uh, curved vein or a, or, a, or a plate or a cup like this uh, and then a jet is coming and hitting on the on the uh, vein or the or the cup and then the vein itself or the cup itself is moving with a velocity. So, we want to find the work done per second by the jet on the on the cup. So, the problem statement is as shown in figure. So, here figure 6 centimeter diameter jet of water impinges. So, here the diameter of the jet is 6 centimeter. So, 6 centimeter diameter jet of water impinges on a series of hemispherical cups and is deflected through 180 degree. So, the jet is deflected by 180 degree. The velocity of the jet is 10 meter per second and the cup is moving at a velocity of 4 meter per second in the x direction. Calculate the work done per second by the jet on the cups. So, here you can see that the jet is coming in this direction and uh, the cup is uh, or the vein is placed a curved vein is placed like this and it is moving the, cu the cup or the vein is moving with a velocity of 4 meter per second. The jet, the jet velocity the jet velocity is 10 meter per second and uh, if u 1 is the, uh, the jet velocity uh, then you can see that it will be after the jet reaches the cup it will be deflecting and it is deflecting at uh, 180 degree. So, u 3 is the if the the velocity in this direction and u 2 is the other downward direction. So, you can see that since we consider the atmospheric pressure here. So, u 1 is equal to u 2 is equal to u 3 for this particular problem. So, we want to find out the work done per second by the jet on the cup for this particular problem. So, now uh, since the jet is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second and the, the uh, uh, play cup is moving with a velocity of 4 meter per second, the relative velocity of jet is equal to 10 minus 4 that is equal to 6 meter per second. So, uh, here also this particular problem we do not consider the friction. So, no friction is considered. So, the mass of the fluid striking uh, the cup per second is uh, say the diameter of the jet is given. So, that is uh, 6 centimeter. So, area of cross section of the jet is pi by 4 into 0 0.06 square uh, into um, say um, pi d square by 4 into the velocity is 10 meter per second and then uh, density is 998. So, finally, we get 28.217 kilogram per second. So, this is the mass of fluid striking the cup per second. So, now we want to find out the force exerted by, by fluid on the cup. So, that is obtained with respect to the equation we have uh, derived. Uh, so, we can write that is equal to the force exerted on by fluid on the cup is equal to minus q rho into the, the velocity uh, ch ch change the, or the relative velocity. So, you can see here with respect to the figure. So, it is uh, both directions. So, we have to consider so with respect to both directions. So, you can say here, here you can see the force exerted by fluid will be minus q into rho where q is the discharge, rho is the density into minus v minus v minus v minus v. So, that 2 times. So, here you can see it is coming both ways. So, that is equal to uh, we have already found the mass of fluid striking the cup is 28.217. So, into 2 times into the, uh, the relative velocity we have calculated 6 meter per second into 6. So, that gives us 338.61 Newton. So, this is the force exerted by fluid on the cup is 338.61 Newton. And now, finally, the work can be found by. So, here you can see that uh, work is the force in uh, work is equal to force in displacement. So, you can see that the with respect to the the uh, the cup is moving at 4 meter per second. So, that we can write yeah, so, um, the work done per, se uh, per second is the, the force exerted by fluid on cup multiplied by that is 338.61 mul multiplied by this 4 meter per second which is the, the movement of the cup. So, into 4 divided by 1000. So, that will give 1.3 by uh, the 1.3 5 4 kilowatt. So, this gives the work done per second for this problem. So, here we have analyzed a problem uh, with uh, which is uh, say relative movement where, where, where the vein or the cup is moving with respect to the jet action. So, here uh, what we have to uh, see we have to note here is we have to find we have to calculate say while finding out the discharge here uh, say uh, the uh, while finding out the force which will be discussed 
discussing the force exerted on the on the cup so that we have to uh, say uh, with respect to uh, the the relative velocity we have to consider so the relative velocity is uh, considered here in this particular case since the cup is also moving uh, in the direction of the jet so this is the first example uh, for, for, for first problem and uh, the second example is here we will be considering another example. Second case is uh, uh, say for the uh, with respect to an inclined uh, say uh, a jet is hitting an inclined plane. So, here the problem statement is uh, uh, as shown in figure. So, here you can see the figure here uh, as shown in this figure um, say uh, a jet is hitting uh, on a on an inclined plate like this, um, so uh, you, so we have to find uh, say a, say water jet to five centimeter having a velocity of eight meter per second impinges on a smooth plate at an angle of forty degree to the normal to the plate. So we have to find out the impact of the jet when the plate is stationary case A and case B when the plate is moving in direction of, in the direction of the jet at three meter per second also calculate the work done per unit time in both cases. So, here the problem is so we have we have a uh, say a plate put at an inclination of 40 degree with respect to the with respect to the horizontal. So, that and then a jet is acting jet is hitting or impinging on the on the plane at 40 degree. So, uh, we have to find out the impact of the jet. Uh, so, we have to find out the impact of the jet when the plate is uh, stationary. So, plate is uh, say not moving. So, that is case A and the case B is uh, uh, when the plate is also moving uh, in a, in the direction of the jet at 3 meter per uh, second. So, here uh, it is already given that the diameter of the of the jet is uh, 5 centimeter. So, uh, and also since uh, we as we have seen in the previous discussion uh, the uh, for all the pr pr pressure force the the pressure is atmospheric. So, we can say that u 1 is equal to u 2 is equal to u 3. So, u 1 is the, the jet velocity u 2 is the upward direction u 3 is downward direction. So, u 1 is equal to u 2 is equal to uh, 8 meter per second which is given value and this angle is given as theta is equal to 40 degrees. So, as we discuss as we will be considering a control volume as shown here. So, this is the control volume which we consider. So, from the previous expression which we have derived the impact of the of the jet is obtained as resultant force exerted that is equal to rho q uh, into u1 cos theta where u, rho is the density of the fluid q is the discharge of the jet and uh, u1 is the velocity and the angle theta so the impact uh, the, the 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 impact of the jet is equal to rho q into u1 cos theta so now um, then uh, the impact can be calculated for case A when the plate is stationary. So, impact is equal to rho q into u 1 cos theta. So, rho is 998 into q is pi by 4 into the diameter of the pipe uh, the uh, jet is 0 0.5 centimeter. So, into 0 0.05 square into uh, u 1 is 8. So, into 8 into 8 cos 40. So, this gives the, the impact. So, finally, we can see that um, the the uh, impact on the plate will be 96.07 Newton in the direction say here in, in this direction. So, this is the f n. So, this is in this direction. So, this gives the, uh, the impact of the jet on the inclined plane uh, that is 96.07 Newton. And then work done here you can see that the plate is stationary. So, uh, since the uh, there is no displacement of the plate. So, work done is force in displacement displacement is 0. So, work done here in this particular case is uh, uh, 0. And the case, case 2 when the plate moves in the x direction. So, v, v is equal to 3 meter per second. So, if you consider the normal direction and relative velocity. So, you can see that the relative velocity will be the plate is moving with 3 meter per second and the jet velocity is 8 meter per second. So, that is equal to 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 meter per second. So, uh, now the impact of the jet will be uh, uh, 
say impact is equal to rho into q r into u 1 r cos theta. So, rho is 998 into pi by 4 into 0 0.05 square that gives q r into phi into phi cos 40. So, that gives 37.53. So, this will be back for whenever the plate is also moving with respect to uh, the movement of the with respect to the jet uh, force. So, uh, the relative velocity will be a 8 minus 3 into 8 minus 3 that is equal to 5 meter per second. So, with respect to when the uh, plate is also moving the work done W is equal to this for uh, the force into uh, say the displacement per unit time. So, here 37.53 into cos 40 into 5. So, that gives 143.75 Newton meter per second. So, this is the work done. So, like this uh, say we, we can solve most of this problem by considering the linear momentum equation uh, for either for a fixed control volume or for a moving control volume.